Peace be with you, friends, on this first Friday of the month. And in accordance with the tradition of fasting on Fridays, let us choose to make some sort of a fast today. Remember that fast is an outward sign that intensifies the intention that we present in our prayer and a physical reminder to ourselves for what we pray. And particularly on this day, there's a lot to pray for. And first, we can also ask ourselves, how is Advent going? We've come to almost to the end of the uh, first week of Advent. Last Sunday, as Mr. Daly said on Monday, we began a new liturgical year, and uh, with every liturgical year, with every new year, we make some sort of resolution. So what's our resolution for, for this year? Also today is International Day of Persons with Disabilities. And on this day, we're reminded of our responsibility to better understand disabilities and promote the rights and well-being of persons with disabilities in our communities. So let us pray for those with disabilities and that we may have a more equitable and accessible world. The other intention that I ask you to pray is for the soul of Father uh, Robert Stainsby. I was just uh, this morning I received that Father was the former pastor of St. Paul the Apostle in Burlington, and he died last night. So we pray for the repose of his soul and for the consolation of his family and many parishioners to whom he served. And the next intention will be during our prayer. So today we also journey with St. Francis Xavier, one of the founders, founding members of the Jesuit order. And with his help and the help of our patron, St. Thomas, great for the gift of life, for the gift of prayer and healing, let us begin. In the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. As Jesus went on from his own village, two men who were blind followed him, crying loudly, Have mercy on us, son of David. When Jesus entered the house, the men who were blind came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their eyes were opened. Dear Jesus, we pray today for the courage to cry like those blind men for healing, for the courage and perseverance to follow you and ask you to heal what needs to be healed in our cells, to remove the spiritual blindness of following earthly possessions, but also to heal any physical disability that is within us. In a special way, we pray for health and healing and strength for our, one of our colleagues who is fighting cancer for courage. Dear Lord, through the intercession of St. Francis Xavier and St. Thomas More, hear our prayers. In the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you and have a blessed day and weekend everyone. Good morning, STM. My name is Alessandra, and here are your announcements for today. This is a message from your STM swim team coaches. Attention all athletes who have submitted your swim forms and paid your swim fee. There is a mandatory swim team meeting after school today, Friday, in room 316. That's right, mandatory swim team meeting after school today, room 316. See you there. From coaches Tarquinio, Thurston, and Boss. Any boys that tried out for the hockey team are asked to check the final team list posted outside room 330. If your name appears on the list, the next practice is Tuesday, December 7th, 4 p.m. at Shadok. 
Thanks, STM. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.19. Have a great day.